Thirteen million eight hundred seven thousand and one. Zero one. Something out of nothing. Something's raining down. A river of what to do's, who to be's. Stand out. Blend in. Help him. Go to war and win. Close your eyes, little bird. Tomorrow's a new world, little bird.
get you. What do we have here? Some little bird falling down from her nest. There be things prowling down below, girl. Should have stayed up top, up there with them respectables. This place is our home, girl. You on Cedar's territory now, and something tells me you plain forgot your invitation. Did you leave it at home, honey? Now, what you really here for, huh? You one of them clean up the street type of police? One of them dig the dirt new people sniffing around, looking up for your big break? I don't think we can be taking no chances, brother. Now, let's see what's in your pockets, girl. You ain't got no invite. Maybe you got something for my hospitality. Or maybe you can stick around. You got a boyfriend? Someone who'll pay a pretty price to see your pretty face again? It's a little bit late for that, honey. We get to decide what to do with your pretty ass, and we ain't done deliberating. Oh, I haven't even done preparing your death warrant, and here you are all ready for the signing. Boys, can you please show this girl some notarizing?
I see you. I see you. Out. Out of here. To there. Good. You die. I stay. No. Stupid, stupid. You go. I stay. Good. Good. Fixer's Hope? Hmm. Heard of that place? Yeah. Full of big shot hackers gonna change the world. Ha! Ah! Did I tell it right? Did I? Let him die. Let him try, I said. Let him try. I'll be here. Me and me cans. Ace and Jerry will be right here. And if dying's your thing, I mean going. Stupid, stupid. Okay, okay, okay. I can show you a way out of here. There's a tunnel ahead of you. We'll take you straight out of the sewers. Problem is, I know, I know, I know. I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. The gate is locked. Locked it is. Yes, Lady Lou. Or the ladder over there will send you down to those there sewers. Take longer, it will. And it's dangerous. I know what I'm doing. Just listen, will you? Just listen. Used to be some chemical factory down there. Now it's all gas leaks and piss. Stain more than just your shoes, it will. Doubt the lock is hard to pick. Mm -hmm. Right, mistake, mistake. But you don't uh, strike me as the burglar type. I have the key. The key, yes. You could. You could. But you know what they say. Why scratch their scrotum when they don't like the smell of yours? <laughs> you like that, don't you, huh? You always like that. There's a gang. Calls themselves the Cedars. Thieves and skullcrackers, the lot of them. Started using my tunnels for their smuggling they did. Lorraine's in on it. Don't know what, why, or wherefore, but it'll attract sniffer rounders for sure. Not what we want, is it? No. But you, my friend... Hear that? I called her friend? You could stop them. Stop them bringing through their busyness. There's a bridge. Blow it up. What do you say? Blow up the bridge, and I'll give you the key. Lizard's tail, it will. She'll be replaced. Probably already is. Lizard's tail! Gangs like that? No way. There's only one way to stop them coming through. Block their path. Ha <laughs> ha! And then you'll never find the key. She thinks I didn't hide it. She does. Now what are you going to do, Lady Lou? One or two breaths of the stuff won't kill you. Three might. But keep away from the pipes and hurry along. You'll be fine. Why not? Need to be quick and skippy. Not the easiest, no. But stay out of that factory. Leaks are much worse there. Ouch! Drip. Ouch! Drip. Was sealed off after an accident some years ago it was. Nobody since bothered cleaning it up. Stick to the tunnels and you might keep your lungs in your chest. I know. I saw them too. Nice they are. Why? You hear that? Why, she says. Here they can't watch me. Can't be tracking or controlling. Here I got my can. Don't worry about me. Got food to last me years. And my friends. Far from trouble, far from strife. Lots of grub and good company. Uh -huh. Yeah? Change your mind? Gonna blow up that bridge for me, are ya? Wise of you, very wise. More than a piece of lady lips, isn't she? Is indeed. They've got a stash of C4. If you can shadow in there and nice and quiet, take the explosives and set them on the bridge. Keys all yours.
you again? I know, gotta be careful. These cans are mine, lady. All of them. Now, what you after, huh? Runners and cyberpunks. No help here. Go, stay, think. That must be Decker. You're Decker, right? I'm. Ah, oh, you're late, I know. And you're just as sorry as last time. Now, you better start acting natural, because that guy behind you, I'd never seen him before. And I sure don't trust how he's looking at you. He's looking now? I, I can take him. You can do what I say. Now, I don't know how you fried that CPD, Mary Jane, but it's toast. Come on back, we'll pick you out another. Come. Sure. Thanks. Out here. So, your Dex. I have no idea why Raycast wants you safe, but now you're my bag. And trust me, if anyone else had sent you here, you'd have hit a locked door and a no way kid I'm not interested. So don't go telling your classmates you found out where Grandpa Help All lives. You lucked out on your guardian angel. Raycast called me. I'm your help, and right now that means I'm your out. You don't know who Raycast is? Listen. Raycast was behind some of the biggest leaks and scandals of the past 15 years. Not a corner of the grid has kept him out. If any one person is the hacker movement, it's him. Some say they've met him, but they're trolls with tails, every last one of them. No one has. Raycast meets you, and most times, you don't even know about it. If Raycast is involved and wants my help, you can bet your bottom credit you got the complex on your back. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Okay. The Complex is an off-the-books organization. The click of all clicks. Pick a Megacorp, Samio, Armagear, Trust DNG. All have a tie to the Complex. Boards of directors, subsidiaries, shareholders, you name it. You won't find a politician so much as cross the street without the Complex giving a walk sign. But who are they? No one knows. And that's where the hackers come in. Digging for faces, looking to expose. But the complex is protected with a capital pro. Pissed off the wrong guys, kid. Crooked, ruthless, yeah. Mistakes, not their game. If you're targeted, you ain't nobody. Wait, hear that? Nothing, that's my point. Bar's dead silent. You gotta run. Go through that back door, head towards Taijo, China District. Find Tony, he's a friend. He's got a hideout, you should be safe there. Don't worry about me. I'll hold them off. Find Tony, the building with the Chinese fortune cat. Now go! Mm.
this place. Oh, this has got to be it. People don't come here. You, Tony? Decker said you had a place to hide out. I'm here to hide out. Decker? Look, if you're in trouble, I don't want any part of it, okay? I'm in more than just trouble. Tony, please. Decker said you'd help. Oh, man. Can't a guy run a record in peace? Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Just talk. Is that grain grid runner anyway? And why didn't he slack me himself? Dad? This can't be happening. Who the hell's after you? Look, I like breathing. <sighs> Hear that? That's me. Happy, okay? Now, get out. Raycast? You you know Raycast? You're tickling with my gully balls. Who in Chili Chow Main are you? Tony! Open up! It's Decker! Let me in! You made it. Should be safe here for now. No one ducks radar as good as Tony. Quack! Not my first rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for years as a hacker, back in the day. Ha! <laughs> what? Cause I still shower? Give me another year and I'll blend right in. Look. I built a network of compadres back in my hacker days, and one day I opened a joint for him. Nothing more to it. Then every hacktivist and cypherpunk in the city barreled in like it was a Sameo firewall. Flesh meats, trades, you name it. Quick became the kind of hangout the complex don't much appreciate. My people ain't short on thinking, all right? I keep illegals to a minimum, and any speak going on is as hushed as a CIB case file. You know what they say, if you ain't got ideals as a kid, you're missing a heart. But if you still got them as an old timer, you're missing a brain. I took a step back is all. Leave the rodeos to the young blood. I opened Fixer's Hope, made my help from the sideline. Call it what you want to, but right now we have to talk about saving your ass. If you don't trust me, kid, come right out and say it. I was prepared. All right? I knew this day was coming. Just thought it would be my ass they were after. Yeah. Fixer's Hope ain't gonna be reopening anytime soon. I need to lay low. Complex don't like it when Bust comes to fail. It's not just you they'll be after now. Nah. It was dumb of me to think I could just step out of the game. I was always gonna get the recall someday. If it hadn't been you, it would have been somebody else. Sure. What else you need to know, Blue? Or are we done gabbing? Don't worry about Tony. I've known him for years. We ran ops together. He was a regular at Fixer's Hope. He's only there from here. Guess it'll just be here now. What do you mean? You're the Raycast Connect here. You had the cyberspace meet. Just jack back in there and... Show me your neck. What's this? This ain't a jack. Neck plates? You're wearing freaking ornaments? We're not on a catwalk here, sister. How the hell can you not have a jack? How did you plug into the network? What are you talking about? Without a jack, you ain't jacking in. Now, I don't know how you were in sea space, but if you can't flag Raycast, we're gonna need a way to do it ourselves. But Raycast isn't exactly in the telephone book. He comes to you. I sure hope he's not done with you, kid. Tony, can you put a beacon out for Raycast without the complex tracing it? Is that doubt in your tone? You need to be changing up your tonality. Cause Tony's been slipping across the ice more than a penguin in... Slippers. Yes! I mean, yes, I can get Raycast a message. Oh! My... We got contact! It's Raycast! No doubt about it! It's his crypt sig! How's my hair? You're wearing a hat. Oh. Yeah. Hello again, Dex. It pleases me to see you alive. And hello to you, Decker. 
You proved me right in entrusting her to you. Glad to hear that, because it looks like I just lost my livelihood. I wish there had been another way, Decker. But please trust me when I say, this is worth it. Now our timeline is short. We must make haste. Dex, I need to show you how to enter cyberspace. Cherish your humor. It shall make your trials more bearable. Now, I will lead you into cyberspace this time. But you will need to learn to connect yourself. Now, relax and remove your mind. Think only of elevation and detachment. Yes. Do you feel that wall? Focus on it. Open it. Decker, what's he talking about? She's got no jack. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you a stream running vertically before your eyes. It is your link to the virtual world. Step into it. You are in. Remember that feeling? Just like last time. Hey! That panel's been busted for ages. How did she... Careful. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. And... We are returned. Do you understand now, Dex? Could you repeat that experience alone? You must have some opportunity to practice. Decker will assist you. I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you wonder where this power of yours came from. You have heard of Kether, have you not? Then listen carefully. Kether is the most advanced AI ever created. The only being that can be instantaneously aware of the entire activity of the world's cyber network. Every message, every transaction, every connection Kether sees, feels. Kether is omniscience, and you, Dex, are its seed. Whoa there, Raycast. Can't just go around saying stuff like that. Haven't you got a clear feed? It's a kid you're talking to here. She needs to get somewhere safe, and you're going on like she's some kind of messiah. Feeding her with Avatar fairy tales isn't helping her, and it sure as hell isn't helping me help her. You need to trust me, Decker. My only concern is her life, and no one is better placed than I to know how to preserve it. Dex, the Complex want you dead, but for Kether's sake, you must stay alive. What about for her own sake? Look, Raycast, if they're after her, we're going to need some help on the ground here. Get prepared for what is ahead of you, Dex. Become able to defend yourself. Train. Practice in cyberspace. Decker will help you. We will speak again soon. We need more, Raycast! Raycast! Damn it! He's got us on a string here. He didn't even say hi to me. Dex, we need to talk. Look, Kether's real, but all that other stuff, that seed and avatar stuff, just forget it, all right? Ain't nothing but hacker myths and bourbon legends. She did connect to sea space without a jack, Decker. Not you as well. Will everybody keep their feet on the ground here? Just saying. Look, I'll tell you the facts. Kether's real. The complex created it. A distributed network program capable of unsupervised learning. They built it to monitor every node in the whole grid. And by tapping into the processors of each server it accessed, it had infinite computational resources. But during Charlie tests, the complex screwed up. They fed it too much processing power inside the development network. And Kether grew a self. Some said that. Others, that it just acted like it was self-aware. But whatever it was, it broke its leash, jumped the complex's development network, and spread into cyberspace. Then, then we were this close to an anarchist's Eden. An AI seeing everything, loyal to nothing. It wouldn't have been programmers dealing with Kether, it would have been politicians. How do you blackmail an AI if you don't have nobody doing the desiring, no family to be protecting? How do you bribe? We were this close to shaking up the entire system from the top down. Anything would have been possible. But the complex, 
They had an ace up their sleeve. A failsafe, just in case Kether got out of control. A parallel program called the GSV, Grid Security Virus. They unleashed GSV to contain it. GSV wasn't perfect, but it was enough. The two AIs, Kether and GSV, they went at it. Remember Black Monday, when the whole grid crashed? Them, slugging it out. Neutralization and recovery. Then, attrition. Finally stalemate. Both pinned. Both contained. Kether is still there. Everywhere. But it can't operate. Not till someone breaks the GSV deadlock. Well, Raycast thinks it's got a lot to do with you. Looks like the complex does too. What you see or don't see on the matter is fast becoming irrelevant. The story goes like this. Kether had just seconds in sea space before GSV was set loose. But seconds were enough. It selected a human for backup, integrating part of itself, a seed, into an organic network, a brain, a human brain. Seems there are a bunch of people who think you do. And I've never seen anyone connect to sea space without a jack. T here thinks you do. But all I care about is keeping you alive, and that means out of the complex of sights. Blue, I'll be honest. I have no clue how you connected. We all need a jack. What you did back there with Raycast, that was nothing I've ever seen before. But if you can get in, I can show you around. Right. Start with some basic actions. Hmm. We'll need a training ground. Needs to be safe, but complex enough for rope learning. I know. Just hack Tony's farm. Excuse me? I'm not having some green slave wandering around the tea farm. Um, no offense. Your network is secure, T. She'll learn to run safely, hack a couple of nodes. You can choose them. Come on, man. It's the ideal setup. I'll keep her on track. Fine, fine. But I'll be jacked in, too. Don't get messy in there, all right? And stay out of the huge but natural subdirectory, if you don't mind. See those? Viruses. Don't let them get to you. Destroy the firewalls and proceed. They're tough, so you might want to use a stronger attack. Thank you. 
natural. She can call herself a hacker now, wouldn't she say, T? Welcome to the club, kid. Meh. Lucky dice at the end there. But not too shabby for a crawler. You'll walk soon enough. Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. Some implants boost your reflexes, give you more connection time, stuff like that. You really gotta be thinking about upgrades, Blue. and the bees chat okay listen kid the moment you came into my joint with a complex on your tail there was only one way you were gonna stay breathing on the street in cyberspace wherever you're gonna need a level of hell up or you're going down can I just add that as much as you're welcome here you can um stay here all that long <sighs> what I'm sorry but it's my ass Dex, you're gonna need to get augmented. It's the only way the rest of you is gonna stay alive. It's that or plain worm food, kid. Wherever you run, they'll find you. There's nowhere their network don't reach. Now, surviving means knowing when to run and when to make a stand. You can bet Ray Kastik in the same. This is the only way, kid. Time to stand. Go to Dr. Niles. You can find his clinic near the Chinese gate, not far from here. Tell him you need a neuroweave. With that installed, you can take on any implant you need. Niles is no saint. <laughs> I'd stay awake for the ops. But he is on the wrong side of the system, and that's the right side. Sure, what do you want to know? There are a couple of good packing shops. Hank's ain't far from here, near the Chinese gate. The place doesn't look much, but nobody knows more than him about firepower. Then you've got everyday guns for more fancy pieces. Downtown, near my friend Sam's store. <sighs> I know a few. But if you go downtown, there's a general store an old friend of mine runs, Sam. Food, drink, meds, first aid kits. You dream it, Sam's got it. All right. Oh, before you go, I just uploaded you this map of Harbor Prime. Guessing you don't know that part of town so well. Just check it out if you get lost. Are shadows, illusions. 
I used to wear a tie, okay? <laughs> uh, Samuel. That's right. Information technology officer. That's what I was. And then, things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. <sighs> I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. An old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. You got to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. And now... Now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. In the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. Oh, you help an old man of the street, and when the world kneels, that man will remember you. <laughs> Antidepressants to shut up the talking ones. Anxiolytics. <laughs> Vanium, whatever, anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> Too dangerous. No, get me the pills. And then I'll tell you, this is my circle. <laughs> I can't step out. I have to check it every morning to make sure it isn't broken. Voices shout from outside. <laughs> I... I can't hear them. You understand? You understand? Clever girl. <laughs> Making the right allies. <laughs> Investing. Clever. I'll wait here. In my circle. Hi there. What can I get you? Oh, yes, of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? Already more than two weeks. I am afraid for him. He never disappeared like this before. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's... more of a woman. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... a new style, clothes, hair... always in front of mirror. Acting like tough guy in front of customer. I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner, always sitting on a secret, like her life was being lived by another. I didn't trust her, not at all. Ah, but Lily has a friend, Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. I don't know her, but if you can find her, Maybe she'll know where to find Shen, or at least Lily. Thank you so much. I light a candle for Shen every night.
If the sun didn't just come right out. Howdy, sister. What can this old jarhead be doing for you? Smart friend. Yeah, I'm no stranger to firearms. So, you mean business, do you? Well, let me know what catches your eye. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? More likely than for that other dizzy gun sailor. My suppliers ain't good with pens. Let me take a look now. Booyah! Yes, it is. This year varmint been delayed, lost, or who knows what, for two months now. Why, thank you, sister. And allow me to express my thanks by giving you a hundred credits and a box of shells on the house. What ammo you packing there? Nine millimeter? <laughs> sure thing. Here you go. And thanks again for the deliver. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? Sure enough, it's my name on there. I won't ask where you got it, but if it's what I think it is. Eh, nothing. Nothing important, uh, just a uh, couple of magazines. Uh, got to keep on top of the latest trends, you know. And uh, uh, Big Bazooka's Monthly is just, uh, I'll uh, put them in my special drawer for uh, research. How do you, prettiness? What you call? Some say it out loud, yep. Have me a thing for weapons, military gear, even to form my army days. But I love my antiques too. 20th century memorabilia, all sorts of things. And speaking so, I'm always on the recon for more. So if you empty a basement and find yourself an old trinket or two, bring them in. Just about anything pre-2K, I'll offer a fair price for. report a week ago and I'm in some straits wanting it I can tell you maybe a good one if I heard it but gentleman Mr. Finch is taking it upon himself to go all unreachable on me not the first time granted but I'm fast near the point of making it his last I can tell you he's got a full-time job granted but it's the pills I blame I swear ever since his divorce that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on -yo a pogo stick Actually, I'd be happy to throw you a few hundred credits if you dropped by his apartment and gave that fool a kick. Just a friendly one, of course. Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know it, right? Apartment 112. No one home last time I checked, but you look like the lucky sort. If he's out, ask around his neighborhood. He's known around those parts. Really? Oh well, it's the prettiest flowers that get pissed on when a dog comes by. Take a look. You'll find some somewhere.
and welcome, miss. I'd like to invite you to peruse some of the finest lethal and non-lethal equipment in Harbor Prime. Everything you see here is available exclusively here, not elsewhere, at all. <laughs> ah, that old tin kicker. Save a penny, lose a face. Now, <clears throat> I've heard that he makes weapons out of spare parts. I mean, who's ever heard of a gun made out of pieces? Mm, look, all you need to know is that these here weapons are factory direct, okay? Quality assured. Oh, yes. It's true that some customers are prepared to put savings before quality, but you seem to be much more of a discerning type. Am I right? Now, anything I can get you?
Mosaic is the Christ Pentocrator from Hagia Sophia, Byzantium. I'll get on at finding out about its where froms, but I can say right off it's a good piece. 600, right? Not liable to miss it, hmm? Suit yourself. Here's the cash. Pleasure doing business with you. Till next time, then, sister. Am I right? 
right in thinking you have certain reservations? Trust me, there are no better hands in all of Harbor Prime than these. Ugh, 95 years of age and steady as a rock. not the other way around. This here is the next step in the evolution of our species. The natural next step. Or are you worried about being less you? You don't need a philosopher to tell you that you're more than a physical body. Soul? Consciousness? Destiny? Call it what you will. But why would that essence be any worse off if you made your body better? You give it power. Jump higher, run faster, deduce quicker, and kick ass harder. Then I can perform the operation for free. I don't take her that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is, neural weaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military-grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems to bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, it's way too risky to install a funky one. The consequences would be unimaginable. Wish I did. Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck. A, a, a production line blunder, but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware. What's happening is deliberate. And the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Hope. From what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Anyway, the deal is... If you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to Owen. He's bound to know things I don't. Yeah, but, but go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg.
I need help. I've been shot. I'm gonna be anything. Oh. Unless you give me some assistance. That won't help. Find something to stop the bleeding. Oh. Thanks, kid. I thought my goose was cooked that time. Friends are out here off the suspect list. There. Well done. Oh, look. This is my job, kid. I'm a cop. That's all there is to it. Been digging around a racket lately. Some small timers. The slicers. It's got to have something to do with that. Uh, if it's them that got me, then all signs are pointing the same way. You're right. Days of dawn raise on arm gangs are long over, kid. It was after around the time my chicken shit comrades started telling the gangs we were coming. Their way of avoiding a fight. But if you've got more cojones and want to lend this old dog a hand, I might have a job for you. You can find me downtown, outside everyday guns. Think about it. And thanks, kid. Thank <laughs> you. 
than whoever be you. That would work. This scum is a branch of a larger network of narc grammars, and they are making good money. Even if you killed them all, the branch would just grow back. The labs are harder to replace. Take that out, and they'll think twice about investing in a replacement. Plus, I can supply you with the requisite explosives, and I'll throw in a couple of stim packs for good measure. What do you say? Please, let me underline my motivation. I simply want to make this district safer. You might find more profitable employment elsewhere, but I doubt more worthwhile. to be placed in the middle of the main lab, if you will, to make sure the devastation is absolute. How you do it, be it widespread killing or quiet subterfuge, is entirely up to you. I care nothing for those people. I just want the lab in it. And here are the stim packs, micro-produced, excellent quality. You will find the lab easily. It's situated in a place called the Junction, between here and the slums. I warn you, it's a dangerous location. You will find no shortage of unsavories in the vicinity. The lab is inside the building and guarded from both inside and out. Thank you. 
things first. Hey, return. Slicers. Got a hangout by the industrial zone. I need someone to sniff around and see what they're up to. When you do, report back before you turn up. For as many years as I've been on the force, your garage starts feeling like a weapon store. Make it worth your while, all right? As punks go, the slicers are pretty civilized. Never had a problem with them before. They stick to their own. Bunch of tech heads, salvaging from junk and old parts, making stuff to take out for trading. Narcs and weapons, too, of course. Not all legal, but not worth us paying at the time of day. Something's changed with the slicers recently, though. Different activity, moving some serious hardware. Look, if something is going on, you can bet they'll be looking out for me. I won't lie, I'm not equipped for any escalation. I need a ghost. They don't know you. Unless I'm mistaken, you've got some tricks up your sleeve. And not only there. Hey, thanks so much. You lost Darlin. Me? Whatever needs to be done. A lot of the docks. All storms and plain sailing. On his seamen most. Few bad seed. Landy's all. The cops keep an eye on us, but they let us get on with our business for the most. As long as you don't get in their way, you're free to do what you will. And a whole lot of business is going through here. It isn't just the gulls that are circling. 
Aye, sure. That there uh, warehouse. Follow me, finger. There. Why are you asking? Did you miss your delivery or something? Huh. Straight to the point, aren't you? Well, there were a few soldiers inside making the rounds. I can tell you that. There'll be cameras, alarms and drones too. You're not the first to be sniffing around. There must be something of value in there. I'd be careful if I were you. That I did, I. Last night, some punks sneaking about and snapping my cameras. Planning to get in, I'll bet you. Well, every cargo here got registered on the port's network, you see. And... Hey! Hey! That there's some kind of question. What trouble are you brewing, woman? Don't you go drop my name with the sinkers. You're hooking for a shark with crab bait, ya. You're cursed, woman! Fine, I'll tell. But my words die with ye. And if I'm doing the judging, that'll be a four long. If you can get into the dog's security grid, through there you'll access the security in any warehouse. At least, that's what me techie pals were bantering on about. Easiest would be that building right behind us. The control center it is. But it'll be well guarded. If you manage, it'll make your life easier getting in that warehouse. Hey, hang on a minute there. How are you gonna hack anything? Aren't you a lassie? You're back. Do you need- Don't say that word, woman! You'll curse the boy.
How do you, Purdy? Ah, a dandy piece. Handmade. Well cared for. And this shaping goes back to the first half of the last century, it does. I propose to you 200 credits. Fair deal? All right, here's the money. Zero stimulation. But she's asleep, damn it. Unbelievable. Her brain should fry out her ears just for being there. Who is she, Decker? She's a whole lot more than some sweet tush. Niles, if you ever tell anybody about this, you and me have a problem. Another problem. Fine, fine. Message received. Jeez, just curious was all. so don't get excited. I was in the area, that's all. Listen up, man. I'm real sorry to put you through this, but it's the only way. Gotta improve if you're gonna stay gunning. Right, I'll get back to Tony's. We can talk to Raycast. In the meantime, Blue, why don't you get acquainted with this part of the city? Shake off that dizziness. When you're good, come meet me. 
you should have a PMA by then. Plan of action.
Prettiness? Give me that to look at. Hmm, early 1960s, I'd say. Scratch here and there, but nothing to bring on a moan. Some composite or another, with silver coating. No name brand, but a good looker. I like it. Pretty thing. No rarity, but buyers come looking for these. Can give you 400. Sell it elsewhere, you're liable to get no more than half. What do you say? Deal done. Your money. Stop by again if you ever come by something similar, won't you? How do you, Purdy? several exploits in the secret system. I did some preliminary tests, and my predictions were right. Just for, for the first step, the next step, I'm going to need to get closer to the... to the offline world, where the people are. Starting small, 
I used the exploit to create a virus. New, invisible, undetectable. You bet I am. You know the city where the people are. I need you to upload the virus to vending machines. Huh? <laughs> Five uploads to different machines should do it. If it works out, the virus will give us a cut. A cut of every transaction. It will look like a statistics error on their books. But us, good call. Now, all you need. Good to see you, lady. Been monitoring your progress with the vending machines. Every single one is running. We have them, girl. We are undetected. Every transaction is dripping a share into my account. It's working. Yeah, you guessed it. Now is the reward I promised. Some old memory chips, how about that? Bet you're glad you caught on to my coattails, huh? No, oh, thank you, girl. Now, I just need time to analyze all the incoming data. Then I can progress with my research. I have your network signature. I will contact you. Myself. Goodbye for now. We're coming for them. <laughs> we are.
first time, honey. My nubbly still ain't that shaking. Now, I gotta get back to looking like I still need to satisfy. Come find me again, okay? Hey, it's you. Rolling back up for some more, none of your business what exactly.
mutlu kişi gel. Und do you expect thanks
How do you do, stranger? Happy to be seeing you again. Dead? Your poem my unshavens. What what happened? Where was he? Well, I never. Sounds like he got himself whacked. Fancy tangling up his numericals, business of that kind. For your own sake, I'd stop your sniffing right there. You've done plenty. Any more you might find trouble yourself. How do you do, stranger? Happy to be seeing you again.
Wow, Dex! Looking badass. How does it feel? Man, it almost makes me want to upgrade my middle finger, get off my ass and wave it around. But Deccan needs the Tony skills right here. Now, guess what magic I've scored? Some slick new software, especially just for your joy time. Check it out. What can you do? If you get your skills up to me and Decker's level... Thank you, thank you. You can only hack like any data fortress, snatch info, disable security systems, plant viruses. And with that weird-ass ability of yours, the freaky no-jack thing, man, we should be talking about what you can't do here. Very briefly, I mean, technically, you should be able to hack into anything or anyone from anywhere. Well, you'll get better with experience. But there is one other way. Get your hands on some special software. Programs that'll make ki- Looks like you're gonna be hanging here for- Yeah, well, you guys didn't leave me much of a choice. But it's all good. Raycast needing some Tony assistance. That's a new level of cool right there. Office? I live here. Everything. Servers, data drives, CPDs, it's my farm. Job? I'm Tony the Provider. A walk-in, talk-in, cyber-dealing solution. Okay, not much walking, but if anyone needs to bust into a game day account, these servers will shake off heat quicker than an icy thing. Need to mine some V-credit to level up on Misty Wizard? My bots dig faster than a rabbit. I got me clients from the East Coast Dam Banners to the West Side Hissifits. I made an aim bot for any strike. Okay. Well, a guy's gotta roll with the punches, you know, but I'm not as big a fish as you might think. I mostly stayed home. Oh, me and Decker, we go way back. Who busted him out of sea space jail? This guy. Naturally, he came to me now, too. I guess you could call me his Rock. The T-Rock. Of course, what's he done? More like, what in the history of hacking has he not done? The Packard Gate scandal? Him. The NSA leaks of 2020? Him. Guy's a legend. Hello, it's me. Tony the Provider. Sure I have. Check out my repertoire. But these things cost money. You get me, right? I want to help, but I am running a business here. Fine, fine, I'll see what I can do. Jeesh! It's not as if I'm putting my neck on the line just letting you stay here. Just received a Raycast Connect. You should take a seat. <laughs> Feeling with the augment, huh? Look, Raycast just dropped an intel bomb. Shit just went boom. The complex is developing new AI. Means business. They're trying to put an end to Kether. Maybe destroy it. More likely, put it back on a leash. What'll happen? 
If the complex gets Kether grade control of the grid, we're talking the end of encryption. Unchecked censorship. A technocracy so complete we may as well be handed spoons and told when to open our mouths. We'll see, hear, and say only what the complex feeds us. That's what will happen. <sighs> I'm sorry. I ain't angry at you, Blue. I'm angry at me for what I gotta ask you to do. This new AI, this GSV2, it's in Charlie testing. Raycast needs... We need you to stop it. Get in the facility and destroy it. I wish it could be anyone else. Believe me. You remember that Kether Seed thing? Seems like it might be more than just a bourbon legend. When you were under, when Niles was installing the Neuroweave, he showed me your fMRI scan of your brain activity. Look, I don't know if you're some avatar, but I do know that there's something special in you. Raycast says you're the only one to connect to the GSV2's development network without your brain frying out your ears. You can cap it from the inside, not just the out. Well, that's Raycast. I don't know, Dex. The man has screwed the complex more times than all cypherpunks put together. Now, he might have sources, sure, but he's on our side. I'll be honest, I don't know, Blue. They sure did try to pull the plug on you. Maybe they knew you were a threat to the GSV-2. Maybe there's other stuff you can do. I don't know. Right choice, Blue. I just wish it didn't have to be you making it. Right. The problem now is not even Raycast knows where GSV-2 is being built. He suspects it's in Harbor Prime, but only a complex insider would know where. We found one person with that kind of clearance. Her name is Miranda Provalski private attorney for Samio, on the complex's payroll. She prosecutes companies that don't fall in line. If you could pay her a visit, convince her to talk. Play her how she comes, Blue. But you're gonna need to be pretty convincing. This is classified intel. Whatever, we need to know where the GSV-2 is housed. You'll find her on the top floor of Building 39 in High Rise. Try to get there on the sly, but there'll be cameras, maybe security drones. When you've bagged the intel, come back and we'll talk what's next. Darling, don't be shy. Well, a little autograph ain't no thing. What's your name, honey? Of course you don't. Different times, different worlds. Nowadays, young'uns listen to nothing but neuro beats and sound walls. Barbara, don't ring any sort of bell in there at all. Well, you can bet your mom's twerking tush she was a fan. Dang it, maybe it's better if I'm out of the sweet spot of that limelight for a while. Being a star can be a cross to bear, ain't no mistaking. You reckon? I've been getting threats, honey, every day, from some hula-headed fan. I'd give it no time of day, but she, uh, I'm guessing it's a she, has the audaciousness to be sliding the letters under my door. How about that? 
Sure don't make a home feel much like a home. Just ramblings, accusing me of stuff I never did, threatening to get me or replace me, would you believe? Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? So, I've been doing some real hard thinking, and you know what? I reckon this pen pal of mine lives in my neighborhood. I mean, how else could she drop letters off at my place every day? Now, something tells me you ain't stupid either. Maybe you could snoop around, dig out who's behind this? My building is number 39 in High Rise. And here's the letter she wrote me just yesterday. Maybe you'll figure something I missed. You're back. Ma'am, madam, milady, what'll be your taste? Guns, C-band, intel, uppers, downers, flip your head around us. Me, I'm your man. With all due respect, ma'am, from my experience, there ain't no young on the street. They survive and theirs or don't. Claire, Claire de Lune. I'm Lily, your maitre d'. Now, what will be your one? Drink, pill, or do you like to go in cold? When a woman knows what she wants, she gets it. Fashion, he knows how to please. All the right augmentations in all the right places, if you know what I mean. Or perhaps, Shen? The newcomer to our family. A pure flesh and blood. Gorgeous, athletic, and docile. Worth every credit of his extra expense. Of course you will. Now if we could just settle the small matter of 600 credits. And why exactly should you receive a discount? before you buy here. Shen is as Shen is. If you want experience, of course you will. Well, I suggest you start saving then. I wasn't told of no coming throughs. Who are you? Well, if my heavenlies are not in need just now, sure. What you so eager to know, honey? Shen, 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 are, are you afraid? I can take the competition, but not when it's ignorance and fear doing the judge. You want some fumbling boy? He's on the next floor up on the right. A man. Aphrodite. Well, just good things, of course. Takes down competition quicker than pantyhose. Scooped up the pros, then cut the amateurs with a... Lily ain't no ordinary lady, sugar. <laughs> End up. When you're born as fine as I, it was just natural I'd invest in...
my kitchen days are done. Why would you even say that? Nice try, lady. Lucia Luxor, she had her mother come in with the same story last week about her father. No way I'm falling for She's fine. And why would I want to go back to reused frying fat and noodle chopping with her whining at- Is that from Lily? What? Who is this Frank? Ship me? Where? Why? Why should- why would she do this to me? I need to get out of here. I'll go back home. Tell Lily. I'm sorry. Shen is gone. Bouncer's dead. Now I don't know who you are, lady, but... If you have anything to do with this, there will be nine circles of hell to pay. I never get chance to thank you. Shed's back, and he told me you were one who convinced him to leave. Here, please, take this, please. It's reward, I promise. I know it's not much, but please, I... He ain't okay. Thank you. No, I lie. He not any okay. Shed very sick. That bitch! He told me they took pill together. And now all I hear is, get me Exalta. Please, Exalta. He wake me in night, begging me to find some. He won't eat. I tried everything. Oh, how can I? Please, please take this. All you do is help us. All you do is good. Thank you. Shame. 
cry in shame. She was one of the good ones. One of the best. What? No! The restaurant was one of the good ones. They're shutting her down. Farewell, Tagliatelli al Salmone. Gonna miss you. Name's AJ, by the way. Shh, not so loud. Shut a tear, sure, but don't let them see you asking questions. They'll have eyes out right now, for sure. If you want to talk wise, come. We can go to the Nightingale over there. It's a dump, but it's got more privacy than a black hole, okay? Don't worry, I'm not trying to hit on you. This dump is the last place I'd take a girl on a date. Good. Anyway, that restaurant back there? Eden? Quarantined. No idea. They've got a tighter lid on this than an elephant on a manhole. I did some probing. This is my neighborhood, see? And found out that Eden got shut down after an impromptu health inspection. Okay, listen. Biofarm Tech did the inspection, got their own agents. But guess who was the food supplier for Eden? Biofarm Tech. Now, why would they shut down one of their own customers? Why not just fix a health problem if they find one? Somebody does. Ha! <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Everyone all over knows my game. I'm a reporter. Old school overthrow, that's me. Started my own news agency. Still, uh, a one-girl show right now. Well, two if I include you. I do my own running after scoops, dig in the dirt, you know. Finger on the street pulse, old school, baby. Not like those hackers in their mama's basements fighting for a freedom they'll never go outside to see. You think I don't get results? Hang out in corporate PR and see how much my name comes up. But true, Blue. We need both. The tech heads and the field girls. And sure there are risks, but it's all about staying a nuisance, not a threat. That and knowing who you can walk over, who you can't. It's true I'm on everyone's radar, but known faces are hard to cap, remember? So that's it! You're here from another time, another dimension! Don't they have corporations where you're from? <laughs> Biofarm Tech is only the biggest organic food company in the world. The last truly ethical one, they'll say. And they've got fair trade, animal welfare, and charity programs to prove it. Girl after my own heart. The whole thing's a catch. Most people lap up their PR like kittens around cream. We're so desperate to see a corporation that won't screw its own mother for better margins that the whole town's painting rainbows over Biofarm. But you can bet there's nothing but pots of gold underneath it all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm kind of stuck right now. I tried speaking to the owner of Eden, but it's obvious he got paid to keep his mouth shut. And my informants are just as in the dark as I am. And to make matters worse, the suits at Biofarm know me. Not the first time I've lifted their skirts. If I showed up at their office, they'd sooner toss me out of the window than talk to me. But you, you could help. <laughs> Why, two weeks in Hallelulu, of course. <sighs> this is about good deeds, girl. But sure, if you help me crack this case all the way through, I'll give you your due. And don't worry about repercussions. I'll make sure- Well, informants sounds fancy, but it really means meatheads, pros, and narc runners. Ones I know won't get as far as the biofarm lobby without security turning them right back out. Awesome! Right, their main office is in High Rise, so start there. Ask a few questions. Be subtle, though. Don't barge in throwing around accusations. Doubt you'll turn up anything, but give it your best shot. And whatever you learn, come back and report.
there who are you okay now we don't have a situation here right if we had a situation I'd call security but we don't have a situation do we you are aware that anything I say to you about any of my cases will be inadmissible in the court of law due to the nature in which the information was extracted but if anything happens to me I have connections you know that, right? Are they? I see. Well, I apologize. I am scared. And it made me say the wrong thing. Listen, my association with the complex is no secret. But if you're looking for information, you're going to be sorely disappointed. My job is to prosecute, not defend. My case files are on people outside the complex, not inside. G.S. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Bold words. Look, even if you could protect me, there's nothing I can tell you. They tell me nothing. It's true. Okay, okay, I, I can guess. There's only one facility in Harbor Prime that could handle GSV2 in scale and tech. It's outside the city, in the hills. Highly secure. Called Redwood Watts. Now, I have no interest in what you intend to do. Really, I don't. But please, I've helped you. Help me, too. Don't let them trace you back to me. You found make it sound like I left it in your place, not locked it up in mine. Okay. Samuel approached me. I told them to take a hike. It was complicated, okay? You don't just go jumping into bed with Samuel. I knew Samuel was a competitor, but that didn't explain why they were so involved in the trial. And everything was off about this case so-called accidents at Redwood Watts. All I know is that people died, and Samuel provided me with the evidence to incriminate i -Corp. i -Corp, Corp lost the case. It's then that I saw what Samuel were after. The Redwood Watts facility was shut down as part of the verdict. Deemed unsafe, Samuel swooped in to buy it, and at bargain price. That's what it seemed. And the buyout was never made public more than 20 years. I was successful in a certain case, and they've required my services ever since. Please understand, you don't say no to these people. I'm just
as one of their corporate attorneys. We protect their financial interests. Are we done here? Correspondence that I locked away. How dare you? If the complex knows you have seen them, okay. They did blame me. All right. They made me work for them. Was I going to just sit by and let them kill my husband? Fine. Are you happy now?
You're back. What you found, sweetheart? Anything? Oh my. Camilla, huh? Yes, I have seen her around before. I... I'd never have guessed. Little quiet mouse of a girl she is. Always in a rush. Always shying away from a how do you do. Well, I've never talked to the girl. But this here note gives me an idea. Looky here, sweetheart. Singing is all I've got. All, all I've ever known. But voices don't get any younger. And when my C5 went all princess and the frog, I had no choice. Got me some synthetic vocal cords from Echo Corp. Still paying for the things. You see how I had no choice, don't you? That's why she calls me a fake. Sorry I took to hiding this from you. Weren't my brightest hour. But what business has Camilla got with Echo Corp? Find her, honey, please. Someone's got to talk some sense into that girl. I'm a live performer, sweetheart. And that's one thing I'm staying. In this joint, I thank my fans with a live piece of me songbirding it every night. Be sure to spread the word, won't you, honey? You're a smart blueberry pie, aren't you? Let's just say being a star is like walking hills. You gotta cross some valleys from time to time. This here place is me on my way to the next mountain. You get me? And there ain't no shame in saying those implants cost me a pretty fortune. I still got me a whole lot of repaying to do for Echo Corp. But I'm readying me a new album just now. Then it's Kilimanjaro, here I come. You haven't read all the letters. The girl is more cuckoo than a clock at noontime. Who knows how she'd take it if I put her on the spot. You could be the voice of reason, though. And you'll surely be able to look after yourself if she takes to snarling. Look, I'm not here for new friends, and I'm not giving up my place in the line. Is it you and me done here? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, you are right. And I may have been an itsy wincy bit threatening. But come on! After all she did to us, she's got a robot. Is that it? This is Barbara. You've not heard of the voicers? Barbara, the last of the Lost Legion of Singers, with middle finger, the auto-tune, and lip sync. This is Barbara we're talking about. Stay pure, don't let them rend you. You've got to know that song. Who am I talking to here? I wasn't actually going to hurt her. I'm not some psycho. But she needs to know that her fans are so angry I could scream. Something else? Something else? It's her music. Nothing. Okay, I'll tell. Seeing as the world is about to know anyway, Take out the torch! No one knows her like I do. And when I get the same voice implant, I'll become me, a new Barbara! Screw you. You don't know pain. When love's... Now, say that you're sorry. And say that you'll help me. Then 
I might forgive and forget. There's one more thing that the world needs. For me to sound the same as Barbara. My new chords have to be set the same as hers. And before they go in, can't recalibrate the damn things after the operation. But the doc says he won't tell me her settings, that they're confidential. Would you believe? I mean, I even have her B-side EPs for Christ's sake. So, if you could just access the data server somewhere in this building, you could get those settings for me, couldn't you? Couldn't you? I'll pay you. You just don't understand, okay? For the money. You can do it for the money. And why in the realm of cotton candy would I do that? You're right! Natural. Yes! That's me! I... I forgot! You know what? I'm gonna cancel the operation. Yes! And... I'll talk to her. Well, step right in, Little Miss Save the World. Camilla was here just now. She told me all that happened. I can't thank you enough for dealing with her. And here's what I promised you. The poor child is humbled now, and I told her we could stay in touch if she wants. Seems she's got a voice of her own, if someone just taught her how to use it. Hello again. Hey there, Blue. What's new? <laughs> Listen to me going all poetic on your ass. <laughs> Harbor Hall? Why deliver food to Harbor Hall? There's nobody there. Your spade's gone kung in the dirt, sister. This smells of something bigger than the Eden story. Mm-hmm. Keep digging if you can. upon matters relating to other businesses. May I suggest you take this leaflet for more information on our products? I'm sorry, Biofarmtech. Oh, 
screw it. Look, lady, I can't tell you anything or it'll be my job on the line. If you want me to jump risk hoops for your curiosity, the least you can do is show me some money. Well, if you insist, 200 credits should do the trick. You must be real interested in that story. Right. The best thing you can do is talk to Mr. Finch. He works here as an accountant. Book keeps most of our customer accounts, orders, deliveries. He'll have answers. And now, let me see. Ah, no, he didn't check in today. You can try him at his home. Call this a bonus. 112 Fixer's Hope. And if you mention my name, I'll say you held a gun by this. Happy investigating. I never said I did. Now, please, if you... You again? I told you everything I know. Now, oh gee, why didn't I think of that? I've got bills, little Miss Einstein, and this job is as good as it gets. I should thank my luckies I've not been. Biofarm Tech wishes you a. What's new? <laughs> Listen to me going all poetic on your ass. <laughs> well, there ain't no finishing without a start. You did good. Probably best.
Howdy do, stranger. to protect her from armor gear. Would explain why they're upping their hardware. But she's some new kind of dumb if she thinks the slicers will hold off Connor. Only one of the biggest private security corporations in the world. Got clients all over protecting uranium mines, embassies, via and armor gear does more than just protecting. Hits, cleanings, infiltrations. They even have a research division, weapons manufacturer, a bona fide apocalypse incorporated. He's involved with the slicers, against them as it looks. And this is my shot at finally busting his ass. Oh, oh. Planning to. Got a couple of ideas how to level the playing field if it comes to knuckles and guns. But we can still use a hand. Should you be off for a minute? Connor's all about his augmentations. We did some research, and I reckon we can disable or screw them. His demolition arm and the combat drug he's hooked up. That one's old. The first implant he ever got. It snapped a few necks in its time, I can tell you. But sure as hell, you don't want to be on the receiving end of its fist either. I only know the model's name Sensor Tech 3DS 1200. If you find someone specialized in implants and hardware, maybe they could tell you how to disable the damn thing. Well, it's interesting. Powerful pain override with a quick heal stimulant. I know there's a counter drug, but it's real tough to find. Maybe if you've got some backstreet connections. I've heard a lot of talk in my time, kid. But ain't gonna be no chat show out there. The safest will be if you go back to the industrial zone. If Connor is coming for this Lydia, he's gonna need to come up against the slicers at some point. If you do meet him, try to neutralize him just enough for the rest. There's a thing or two I want to say to him face to face. But he sure as hell won't be holding off the trigger, so just do what you gotta do.
afraid I don't know much about those. Uh, let me check. Maybe I have an old brochure somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Take a look. You can see the frequency it operates at. That'll help if you've got a powerful radio transmitter nearby. Set it to that frequency and it'll overload the arm. Just as long as it's within a decent range. Hello again? who you are, but this is where you keep walking, lady. Navarro, huh? If I'd known he was gonna send girl meat to his gunfights, I'd put a slug in his skull, not his belly. Pity he had to get involved in this kid. Seems he didn't get my last message. I have to send him another. for this game. You can see I was ready to quit. I'm telling you the truth here. Just, just let me go and I'll disappear. You'll never see me in this city again. I'll even transfer you some cash. I'll throw in an implant, a transplant. Come on. Come on. Why do you care? Appealing to my survival instincts, huh? You're smart. Need more people like you in the force. You've got a future, kid. You could earn a pretty penny. All right, take me in. Get this over with. Now, that's some takedown, lady. I never thought I'd see the day. This will make a difference. Young blood of the force. Give him a real kick. You bitching about being outgunned by Armands. You've proven a lot of people wrong, lady. <laughs> no one more than Connor. You sure took some risks. There's that piece I promised you. We had to remove an 
another one of Connor's implants, a dead shot. Even unarmed, he was dangerous with that thing plugged into his brain. You can have it. Someone be taking a real wrong turn. Showing up down here again? That's some brain drain there, gal. What? Thought you done me dead? You be seriously underestimating your shit. Got surprises and mysteries all bundled up in there, haven't you, gal? Who sent you here, huh? Cause they've been seeing you for the last time.
Hey there, Blue. What's new? <laughs> Listen to me going all poetic on your ass. <laughs> the Cedars, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. Ugh. Pieces of work don't get any nastier. Why would Biofarm Tech be dealing with them? And what the hell are those thugs doing in the food business? Anything more specific? This is insane. What on earth could their game be? And what's all this got to do with Eden? We need to know more. Find that Seifer guy. Girl, sorry for asking and asking, but this work needs an unknown and you're all I've got. Awesome. Ingredient K, huh? We need to know what it... <laughs> smells like. Strawberry? Why don't you have a sip? Kidding! We need someone who can analyze it. Don't suppose you've got any chemists in your little black book? Well, okay, it, it, gives me, it gives me pain. What's what about... what? Smuggling? 
What's that? I'm an employee. I work for Biofarm Tech. D they give us free stuff. It's for charity. Head of distribution is me. Means I make sure that the food goes to the right mouths. That's a quote there. Uh, my people, the, the Aguila, they, they're the right mouths, you know? Them poor folks who's always getting bad press. Lorraine takes the deliveries, checks it's good, then sends it to me for distri- giving out. Why are you acting like I done did something wrong? What's what? Lorraine got- gotta do with me. I don't know what- uh, what's- that's gotta do with me. Yeah, what of it? Uh, I mean, I'm not part of the Cedars. I'm their guest, but I take care of in bed, um, stock taking and all. It's just a co-op, uh, collab, we're, we're partners, all right. I, I'm not from this here part of town. I'm with the Aguila, and I've been chosen as their ambassador, ambada, ambassador. But I'm not like them. Leave fighting to the fighters, my pa used to say. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's you. What? How? Are you allowed to be reading other people's emails? Th the incident was nothing but hee-haw. Their driver got rattled when our Aguila rattled his truck is all, shaking it for food. And I just wrote a kindly letter to Mr. Bio Farm Tech to say sorry. Thought to show some consider to be nice, you know? Done an awful lot for us, they have. Oh, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I, I, I got me a job at Biofarm Tech is all, feeding us Aguila. They caught hold of me a while back. They said I'm a resource, uh, a smart guy, and they give me a real job. I'd have me a life like them on TV. I weren't killing no one. Leave fighting to the fighters. I was giving out food is all. I don't have to be thinking about it. They told me I don't have to be thinking about it. No poisoning in my job description. I looked, I asked, I just give food. Head of district, giving food. The Aguila, they think I'm someone. Call me friend. Thank me that I'm feeding them. Sometimes they shake my hand. Lorraine says it's cause you can't take a toothbrush to a mop job. Too much dirt. Th that's why Biofarm Tech give Aguila charity dinners. She says they're scientists cooked up a virus for the cleaning. They give the food to her and she makes it good for the cleaning. Me, I just take the clean food to the Aguila. They said I was smart. I was resort. Real smart. Are you gonna kill me? You're thinking to, aren't you? I can tell. Testy what? Yeah? Good sounds good. So what do you want me to do? All right. Good is good. Stranger, happy to be seeing you again. Oh, how nice of you. Let me take a quick. Oh, Tattoo Dragon! If you keep favors like this coming, you can be as secretive as you please. Thanks again, lady. And here, for your troubles, the least I can do. 
How do you do, strain? Howdy. Sorry, real busy. Prepare uh, getting things ready with Miss AJ. Good luck is good. You're back. Our pliable friend here just told me the whole story. Can't believe it. Whole new kinds of messed up, but so, so huge. I wish I could say hell yeah, girl. But Seifer's testimony is a ticking bomb. Him and I may as well paint circles on our butts. I'll have to play this just right. And old Seifer's gonna need some serious media training, but he'll do fine. Won't you, you big goon? Sure will. We're gonna expose a conspa... conspa... conspiracy! Nailed it! Hey, Dex. It's gonna take a while before we're ready to go public with this. Got some... Hey, Dex. What's up? on an oil spill, aren't you? Great work, Blue. Redwood Watts. Hmm. I know this place. High security. Makes sense they put the GSV-2 there. Decker! Remote, subterranean leveling, sink seg axis. Decker! We can't just send you in a place like that. You'd be suicide. Decker! We're gonna need to find out about the layout, security, infrastructure, works. Shit, this is gonna take time. Decker! Will you listen to me? Richmond worked at Redwood Watts. He was the security guy there, remember? Damn it, you're right. Why didn't you say something? This could work. Designed and ran the security systems at Redwood Watts. T and I knew him from the crypt, the hackers for him. He only dropped his mask after the Redwood Watt scandal broke. Needed help. A few of us tried to get it. Evidence that he'd been framed. Weren't enough. Lost his job and his rep in the security industry. Wrecked. Then the crypt went to hell. 
complex was all over him, I tell you. Last I heard, he was shacked up in some trailer and scrapyard. See if he's still there, Dex. If anybody knows Redwood Watts inside and out, it's him. Hell, he might even know how to infiltrate the security systems. Damn lucky I remembered him. Yeah, real lucky. Great. That's great. Thank you tremendously. Though I'm quite at a loss as to how you did it. The monster looked like he could fell a rhino. Damn Armagear freaks. Ew. I'll take that as a compliment. I needed their help. Their protection from Armagear. As you can see, they got it way over their heads. Silly fools for taking the job in the first place. Seriously? Well... Once upon a time, there was a private security and weapons producing firm that was the biggest in the world. So big, in fact, that only farm girls had never heard of them. Oh yes, and they also do kidnappings, it turns out. I used to work for them, lead researcher in bioweapons. I guess you could say I was a high-value asset. And then, I got a better offer. Some foreign firm. All very hush-hush. I don't even know who they are yet offered me a relocation package, just in case anyone at Armagear was sad to see me go. Rather clever how they predicted Armagear's reaction, thinking about it. Anyway, I was supposed to be extracted, don't you hate that word, and brought to a rendezvous point. From there, my new bosses would take me to their lab, and then it went all Armagear squads and cyborgs. They didn't tell me. I just talked to the head of the labs. Nice guy. French. Everything else was hush-hush and can't wait to see your zygotes. You do realize national is just a shiny new word for tribal, don't you? Oh, never mind. As to my plan, I'm currently in a process of... reformulation. My extraction ship appears to have been seized by Armagear, and I'd say they're one step ahead of my new employers. Look, I'll confess, I'm a little short on options, okay? But you seem resourceful, young dandy. You could have perhaps tossed me a suggestion or two, could you? Altruism? Solidarity? Girl power? Oh, to hell with it. You'll get a big fat wad of credits just as soon as you get me out of here, okay? Are we best friends now? You've got a way of pushing people away. Did anyone ever tell you that? Look, what I need are the coordinates of my rendezvous location. They'll be in the Eclipse, stored somewhere on their servers, I imagine. Highly encrypted, I'm sure. Some gold star hacking skills might come in handy. Or at least a dash of good old-fashioned luck. Well, it won't be at the pier. It dropped anchor a few miles from the docks. To reach it, you'll either need to be a superhuman swimmer, or find some boat to take you there. I'd expect some Armagear soldiers will still be on board, yes. They'll think I don't dare go near the ship, rightly, so you'll be able to use the element of surprise, or whatever it is you combaty people do. I will go there? They'll probably only wait a couple more days before they forget I ever existed, hence why I need to make this snappy. Don't you worry about that. I'll be waiting for you at the Capsule Hotel, downtown. As good a place as any to lay low for a while. Meet me there as soon as you've got the coordinates. Thank <laughs> you. 
before I shoot you off. Chat! Aha! Uh -huh. Interrogation and manipulation, misinformation and... in the world has anything but a sneer for you. You know that? Do you? They framed me. I don't do accidents. The faceless bastards stop at nothing. What? You spoke to Miranda? What are you doing trusting her? The witch will make you build your own stake to burn on. She was the one that brought me down. She brought all of us down. All for a buck, and not even a goodbye. She doesn't know where I live, does she? You didn't tell her. She'll send them for me. Damn it, what have you done? She was my wife, you idiot. You heard it, my own wife watched me burn, tossed the match on me herself. They got her to snatch my access codes, system plans, all of it. How else could they fabricate the evidence? Evidence she pulled in court from her own briefcase that I bought her! What? Wh where did you get them? She did didn't sell out? They, they left her no choice. But why? How did I not see it? She was so convincing. I had no idea. Ah! How did I not trust her? Fool! Fool! God, I'm not anyone. I'm me. I, I, I'll help you. Make them pay. Okay. I can. I can hack the system. As long as my zero base architecture is still the same, I programmed a back door for myself. I doubt Crash will have found it. There's a facility wide recognition system. You don't even need to be face wrecked by a camera. Just step foot in there and the sensors trigger the alarm. But I can disable it. The ST levels, subterranean. Security access is tri factor. Three key cards split between three key members of staff. The head researcher, chief safety officer, and the chump who took my job. You'll have to find each of them and take their card. I'll leave it to you to figure out how, but it's going to be more than just a matter of busting heads. Genius or not, I'm going to need time to disable the recognition system. Why don't you try and find out more about those key card holders? Any info can only help. Now I know one of the three, the security guy, an old friend of mine. All right, let me get started on the hacking. If you drop by later, I'll tell you more about him. Tony's already ID'd the chief security officer, a guy named Mitchell Bryan. Drop by and we'll give you the lowdown. As for the head researcher, oh, now, when you feel you're ready, come to me and we'll prep you for the mission.
You're back. Do you need something? The Eclipse? Sure do. But why would you want to be going there? Something big went happening on deck just the other evening. Saw it all from here. Some kind of nasty. Guns and all. A lot of people didn't get up in the morning, I'll tell you that. Well, first this army, like hundreds of them, preparing the rifle where you are now. Maybe thousands, I Stayed good clear of them, I did. Didn't want them having eyes for Clara. Then they set off sieging their ecl eclipse. Someone had a beef with them. Unless you're a fish, you're gonna need someone with a boat. But didn't be looking at me. Port security watches anything going in or out. And you can't even get near the eclipse without some special kind of ID chip. Ah, I'm just about done with my gabbin lassie. Look, each ship's got an ID chip. So the biggies in the tower know who's in and who's out. If you're not authorised, they blow you clean out the water. Ha! Go right ahead, darling. I'll sit here and watch. I suppose you could get one. It would need to be a proper one. Clean, invisible one. Yeah, you do that. You're back. You're kidding me. You must have some real business with that there eclipse. Fine. I'll have Clara ferry you over. Just the small man. Right, yeah. Just say the when and me and Clara will take care of the where.
Okay, okay, don't shoot, don't punch, don't anything. Everything is entirely work on. I'm a super nice, take me home to your mom kind of guy. Believe me. You. Did Lydia send you? You're the one who took out Connor, right? Wow, look, it worked. I'm intimidated. How easy was that? So, I guess all that remains for us to do now is just relax and enjoy our chill pills. I kind of prefer the hacker, but hey, uh, it's fine. 
It's just that I'm the guy Armagear sends for all the code red missions. You know, the little stuff that really needs to get done. Am I annoying you? I can stop. I've stopped. Uh, look, I like honesty. Good for life expectancy, you know? It's just that my employers want to know who's stealing our, well, their researcher. I mean, aren't you curious too? Actually, do you even know what research he's about to leak to them? Bioengineering, prenatal genetic shaping. Serious shit, man. You don't go shipping off that kind of science to who knows who. We're the good guys here, keeping the R&D family together. You do see that, don't you? Oh, come on. Better the enemy that pays you than the enemy that doesn't. Think about it. You don't know who you're letting Lydia run to. There are worse organizations than Armor Gear, you know? Why be my guest? It's not like I haven't already been at it for hours. The sex system is brilliant. The protection runs are too fast for me at the moment, but you know, someone shot. Well, why don't you give it a try? I could just go uh, over there and uh, age. Look, this here is a fortress of cybersec. Ah, to hell with it. I was gonna try and do a natural. Go fight some neurostims. Th Great, I gotcha. Better luck next. Euroforce? Man, uh, those guys, they've, they've got outlets since private security, armament, medical research, network tech, you name it. Anything from curing congenital diseases to breeding super soldiers. My money is not on the former. What? Now I've got to apologize for preferring to be on the side that kicks ass, not kisses it? Look, I don't even want to know what your problem is with army gear, but we have a good old clear as day, them and us dichotomy here. We can't give Lydia to them, so just tell me where she is and I'll make sure you get double the money. Look, okay, if you won't let us get to her, at least make sure she does- What the? Self-destruct? Shit, uh, don't you just love retributional security, uh, uh, look, we've got a hot tailor. You go, I'll run a clock in PT if I can slow the ticket. What the? Hurry the hell up, will ya? Jump in! Friend? Ooh. Look, you can do what you want, lassie, but we're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Uh, l let's go. What the hell happened out there? Did you blow up that ship? You're lucky me and Clara stuck around. She took a knock or two, I'll have you know. Aye, sure you can. Her engines took a hit, impellers broke. Not an easy switch. They don't make a lot of bits for Clara in this day and age. Them abandoned factories around the industrial zone, maybe you'll get your hands on some old parts there. It would be grand to you, seeing as you owe Clara a treat. You found them sp Thank you. Thanks for waiting. I honestly can't say I'd have done the same thing. Uh, you didn't hear me say that. That's, uh, one way of looking at it. If we were in an altered dimension where I wasn't so smart that I couldn't get out of any fix, half of. But then you were protecting Lydia. We should factor that in. So let's say we're even. Right.
to sit down with Connor. You sure broke him, all right. Sniveling like a kid come home for his tail. He's got plenty to pay for.
You found them spare parts for Clara? That you do. We'll do just fine. Thank you, lassie. Here, you take this and we'll call it evens. Well, if it isn't the ship blower. Good day to you, lassie. Hey, Dex, what's up? Hey, Dex, what's troubling you? Intel on Redwood Watts isn't exactly raining down, but we know they've hired a whole arm of gear sec reg to protect the premises. Mitchell Leeds, facility's de facto chief safety officer. If Richmond's right, Mitchell will have one of those key cards. But the man basically lives in a Redwood Watts facility, so a street jump in the city won't work. All I've got on him is he's a veteran, served in the army for a few years before going contract. There's word that his discharge from the army was messy. Something happened. His file's classified, probably armor gear. But if I dig past the red tape, it'll draw heat. Need to hide what we're up to. Best bet, find someone who knows him. Someone ex-military. Hey, maybe Hank will know something. Old friend of mine, owns a gun shop near the Chinese gate. How do you, prettiness? What you? Something strange. Got that right? Sure, I remember. Ain't one of my men I forgot. But this one stuck in my recollection for different reasons. In Pakistan, 2021, his squad got caught in a chicken shoot, mountain ambush, near old head. A couple days later, he flips, gets to torture and killing POWs, wanted back at the whole damn race. Then he shot down my lieutenant and two more for trying to stop him. That were what I couldn't forget. Come tribunal, sure enough I was witness, but his lawyer real shifted. Got him off on a PTSD plea. Dishonorable discharge, no veteran benefits. That's it. For killing three of my men and a good many more that didn't have dying coming. Why are you asking? Got some beef with him? Hmm. Well, never thought I'd see myself assisting against my own. But if he's armor gear now, he ain't my own no more. All right. I kept me the trial records. Never throw out a thing. Let's see. I got a psyche vial. You can give that a read. Real messed up was Mitch. The PTSD were real. Pathological guilt, denial, the lot. Oh, I'll wager that'd be interesting. CCTV footage from the prison cells they used in the trial of Mitch's murdering and torturing. Plain forgot doing half of it, he did. Showing him that there footage might shake him up some.
you really need to stay away. Richmond? You saw him? Where is he? I didn't know if he was dead or alive. Oh, Rich. I... I have no choice. You have to believe me. If I refused to cooperate, they said they'd kill him. I... I had no choice. Well, he's alive, at least. There's always hope he might move on, turn things around. You'd think I got the good end of the deal. But trust me, I live in fear as much as he does. Oh, after all these years of my trying to keep him safe, he's right back in it. I just hope you know what you're doing. I know, Ellie, yes. I met her a couple of times. Really, charming young woman, modest, too. I've never understood how good people end up in their ranks. We all have our own stories, I guess. But if you need to meet her, I think I have a contact. She was a key witness at a trial I worked for Samuel recently. Let me see. Well, here. She lives next to the Eden Restaurant on the Afterlight Boulevard. But with a job like hers, you're more likely to find her at the Redwood Watts Labs. Good luck. It's you. Dex, what's troubling? That's what he says. Right, let's take a look at you. You good? That's my girl. Now you got enough supplies, ammo, everything. Did you gather intel on all those key cards? Gotta know where to find all three. Good. Now, Richmond's got the security systems on the string pole. He'll mask your... I'll be with you on comms every step of the way. Richmond will live assist too. <sighs> luck out there. All right, listen up, Blue. Security's gonna be extremely tight in there, so watch your step and stay away from cameras as much as you can. Me and Richmond will be with you every step of the way. This part of the facility's been on lockdown ever since the accident. Elevator malfunction, three died. Just watch your step, okay? You'll end up around the lobby. is in the west wing. Ellie should be in one of the labs right above you. As for Mitchell, you'll find the barracks in the east wing.
biometric security. No way you can hack this. You'll need his DNA data. Try the admin servers. They're on the third floor above the lobby. Sorry, and I don't mean to be rude, but visitors are generally not permitted here. This is a high-security facility, you understand. Uh, Ian, could you check our friend here is not lost? Clearance database check. Our friend does not appear on any of the authorized personnel lists. But I do not believe she is lost, Ellie. What I call my assistant is of no importance. Right now, I would like to know who you are and what you are doing here. Would you care to explain why you don't appear on any of the staff files? I... Yes, of course. I'm sorry. It was wrong of me. My key card. I'm sorry, but that's a whole new level of ask. I'm simply not permitted to entrust this card to anyone. Under any circumstance. Oh dear. How embarrassing. I told management that communication is a problem. Sorry. Ugh. 
Don't you have a job to do? should be up there, but if you want to use that footage against him, you need to get into Crash's office first and upload the footage there. I'll try to work my magic for the rest. Stop right there, sweet cheeks. Now you're gonna need to give me a real good reason for being here. <laughs> Where'd you grow them balls? My job ain't for sale, cause that's what you're asking for. Now close your eyes.
got them all. Now head towards the GSV2 server room. by four separate protocols. You'll have to hack those first. You've got to hurry. Quick, pick any of those four and get hacking.
Come in, Blue. She's been in there nearly half an hour, Decker. You got any spare GSVs out back? 
because Mary Jane's just done frying number two. <laughs> it's toast! <laughs> Woo! Great work, kid. Run! Just run, damn it! I don't have time! Dex! Talk to me, Dex! Talk to me! Decker, I don't think she... No! No! Aww. Have you and me got a thing going on, Decker? Come on, you can tell me. Have we? Shit, Blue. I thought you bought your ticket there. Blue! Great work! Man, you really nailed it in there. Are you hurt? Do you need anything? I bet you do. Sure, there's something I need to tell you, though. Raycast contacted me. Hey! Us. Why you were on your way. He congratulates you. And now... Now he wants to meet with you. Personally. Ha <laughs> Funny. Anyway, um... He says it's time for you to learn the truth. Seems he knows stuff. About you. About the complex. Don't look at me like that, alright? You know what he's like. Close to the old industrial zone. You might know it. I'm uploading the coordinates to you. Raycast will pick you up. Just show and wait. As far as I can see, you'll be leaving Harbor Prime. So, if you have any business here to take care of before you go, do it. Speaking of which, there's something I want to ask you. It's Richmond. After all he did for us with GSV2, he's exposed. The complex are going to go after him. You can bet on it. Just as soon as they realized he was the only one who could have cracked their security systems. Guy's on the front line now, kid, and we put him there. I want to help him disappear, leave Harbor Prime, get a new identity, start over. I've arranged for his extraction, got guys just waiting on my call. The only problem is, Richmond ain't a part of my plan. You know how stubborn he can be. He's probably at home lining up shells for his final showdown. He won't want to run, but you're someone he trusts, maybe the only one. I need you to give him these documents, all the details, papers he needs to start a new life. Blue, you're going to need to convince him this is for the best. Good call, Blue. Thanks. Here are the docs. He'll have... Dax, you're the bomb girl. Ha! Like the real ones that go boom. But seriously... I gotta admit, that was some pretty slick net running. You're right. Forget it. But it is really good to have you back. Really. Huh. Funny. After all the help I've been giving him, he better name a leak after me or something. The T-Gate scandal. Yeah. Now that's, well, the complex aren't exactly the kind to turn the other cheek. But Imagine how you managed to pull that off. You're kind. 
but I can't say I was the one taking the biggest risks. It was you and Rich. Talk about hitting him with a hammer where it hurts. <laughs> I was a damn fool for not trusting her. Let the complex walk right in and take everything, didn't I? Us, our lives, what? Who said you could do your pilfering in my personal stuff? That there is none of your bit look just because her betraying me felt real doesn't mean that everything before it didn't, okay? Leave a man alone with his memories, will ya? Ah, oh, 
damn it. Will you stop probing my peripherals? Sweet, but yeah, the photo was taken down at the Nightingale. Back when it didn't stink of piss and dodgy margaritas. I took her there on our first date. For some of me, plan's the same. Survive. Like I've always done. They'll be looking all over for me soon enough. At least extracted. What? You guys got me back in the turret, and now you're telling me to leave off the trigger? I'm standing my ground, kid. No two ways. You said killed, I said fight. Now what's up next? What do you need me for now? You don't want my help? Fine, kid, then I don't need yours. I'll keep hurting them on my own. Obfuscation next. <sighs> All right, damn it. I'll, I'll reload chicken liver cake, okay? Fine. Just let me take a look at those papers. I just hope Decker's not sending me to freaking Siberia. Huh. Like she'd ever. Look at me. This ain't the man Miranda fell in love with. Less even the... How do you, Pertiness? Well, let me see. Structure be true enough. Plastic. Not a brand you'd be chasing in no rarity, but dang it if it don't still work. Gives the price a kick. How's 500 time? Nice doing business with you. Come. How do Hated me. You think that'll all just fall away now? Like autumn leaves ready for a new spring? <sighs> it's been easy to forget how young you are, Bex. Not now. No. Rich won't see me again. Too much has passed. Did he? Well, I admit I'm. Surprised. It's almost as if he didn't want to forget I ever existed. Ugh. Part of me does wish we could talk one last time. Just so I could... Ugh. 
the nightingale. How do you... Oh, you sneaky little... So he kept the picture too, did he? <sighs> Look, I know you need that next. But I don't think you're waiting to come. <laughs> okay, you got me. I don't know what you're getting out of all this, Dex, but thank you. Really. <laughs> Fine, I'll be there. time we'll talk how did you stranger It isn't the blue-eyed Cupid herself. Hello, Dex. Dex, I won't... We won't forget what you did here. You're a good egg. But I guess you already know that. You might be happy to know. I've decided to leave with Rich. We're... Yeah, sure, we'll find something. Hey, thanks again, Dex. We should get going. Done with retractions, now for extraction. <laughs> Come on, Mir. We better get a move on. Turning into Veronese statues here. Hey, thank you one last time, Dex. For everything. Howdy. Sorry, real busy. Prepare... Uh, getting things ready with Miss AJ. Scared. But... See for Stan. Gonna do me some... Good. She talks real fast, but she's nice. Good luck. Hey, Dex. Hey, 
Apex, ready to meet Raycast. How did you pull that off? That's great, kid. And with Miranda, too. That's really good news. Real good. Means a lot to me that you did that, kid. Really. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, do you remember before when you asked me why I was helping you? I said I had my reasons. Shit, how did you get me into this? Look, back in the day when I was a hacktivist, coming up against the complex, I had a partner. A hacker, too. A girl. We were, well, you know, and we were a team. Damn good one. Thought we were untouchable. And we were wrong. Soon after the Kether incident, the complex went after hackers in a big way. Crackdowns, lockdowns, raids. I managed to slip through the cracks. No idea how. But she, well, she got killed. Shot. Look, forget it, all right? It's just, it's just that when I met you, you sort of, I don't know, you reminded me of Silk. Silk was her name. Anyway, you should really get to the meeting point, Blue. It's time. I'd say good luck, but a kid like you, you make your own. Just keep wise, all right? And stay on your toes. Still here? Don't keep Raycast waiting now. Woohoo! At least some of us are getting the hell out of this mess. Maybe once you're done with Raycast, we can all go to Honolulu. I guess we could bring along Decker. Don't want him to feel left out. Hey, Dex. Not Raycast! Get the hell out of here, Dex! Go! Decker? Now, Dex! We have package interference. Roger that. Down target. No! Pleasure it is to see you operational at last. I admit I was growing a little impatient. I've heard all about your adventures, and I have to say that uh, we're almost curious what sets you apart. You have become so distinct. All this complex interaction, all this personality. Quite remarkable. You should be very proud of yourself. You. Oh. Ha ha! Raycast. It's an elusive rogue, of course not. Why on earth would you assume that? Are you indeed? Well, well, that is interesting. So it is he that tipped us off, was it now? Why would that cyber rat help us find you, I wonder? 
Anyway, you can put all that behind you now. You shan't be having any more dealings with him. You have my word. Decker? Oh, you must mean the man who interfered with your extraction. Yes, he was terminated. Now tell me, was he of emotional interest to you? How do you feel now? Hmm, skipped denial straight to anger. Noted. Well, we'll come back to my question when you begin to experience depression, okay? Oh, look at you. So very natural. Mirror neuron. I'm almost inclined to give you a hug. Please don't worry. We're quite done with that nasty roller coaster experiences out there. Okay, you're home now. Safe at home. Well, look who's been doing some assimilation. You run into some tough cookies, I see. Let's hope you are just as affected by us educated folk when we tell you about our little vision, eh? Now, I need to start on my report. We'll be back later. Why don't you get some rest? We have a lot of work ahead of us. It'll do. I will let you out of here. There. Now make your way out of the cell block. All your belongings should be stored somewhere around here. Make sure to pick them up. Then you must find me. I'm near. I will explain everything.
Hello, Dex. Finally, we meet. I hope you'll forgive me for not getting up and shaking your hand. Alas, behold the mighty Raycast. 
dare I say, in the flesh, or as they know me here, subject zero. Some truths cannot be told, they must be faced. You had to see them, see me with your own eyes. And I knew too that they would not want you dead, not before your intervention at Redwood Watts, and certainly not after. They would bring you here, to me. I did warn you to come alone. I apologize for not anticipating Decker's loyalty to you. I regret his loss, and yours. Consciousness circles about the self. Your mistake is a natural one. These clones were not created in your image, Dex. You and I are simply one of them, one of hundreds, all created in the image of one other, the mastermind behind all of this the head of the complex, a woman they call the Crow. Look at the others here, Dex. It's no struggle to comprehend, just a struggle to accept. You were created here. You are an artificial. Your mind was infused with Kether's seed, just like us all. You're an avatar of Kether, just like us all. Let me help you, believe me. Dex, you went to a party with other children when you were five. In the swimming pool, you upset a boy after pushing him off an inflatable toy. He hit you. You hit him harder. He left the toy to you. I see that memory implanted every day, Dex, or variations of it. An array of narratives for an array of affectations. Socialization, personality shaping, that one for self-protection instincts. I'm sorry, Dex, but what you believe is your childhood. It never really happened to you. You must. Alas, we cross the fence of knowledge into the mists of speculation. The only certainty I possess is that the crow is evil. Ruling an organizational network as insidious as the complex, permitting this domination, control, power. Vileness such as this always stems from the vileness of one. The crow is real. The crow is living. But who she is or where, I cannot say. For the moment, I cannot say. For as long as humankind could choose to connect to cyberspace, it could also choose not to. This choice meant freedom, and it meant that Kether could only ever observe humankind, never fully control it. And yet, if the complex create humans who are forever connected, we clones, at least those of us like you who can live among humans, breed with them. We are humanity's next step. But when the complex control Kether, it will be a step into chains does, Dex. They still need the GSV-2, and I fear your work, our work, to sabotage the system has only delayed what must surely one day still happen. When the Complex activate GSV-2, they will control Kether, just as they always plan to do. Not only will they see everything, they will have the means to control every clone, and in the dawn of the post-human, that means every one. That I can understand. If you have more questions, ask, but we are running short of time. Once they find you have escaped, there is no end distinct from my beginning. I was created here, just like you, but created when their techniques were crude. You are an incarnation of their successes, I of their failures. My generation never left these halls and I alone was kept alive within them to be probed, injected, vivisected. I could never tell them how much I felt during the operations, risk losing what I cannot lose, my freedom. While many others died, I was kept alive. My neurochemical activity was a source of curiosity a subject for tests. 
a live benchmark, if you will. I do not know who was the luckier, myself or my siblings whom they let die. Oh, but I have traveled everywhere. When only your mind is free to wander, you find every freedom you can. My brain was connected to cyberspace the instant I was born. That is my only world, my only real world. We need to put an end to all of this, Dex. This research cannot be allowed to continue. Too much wrong, too much power. These abominations cannot be allowed to live. Dex, we are built to be controlled. We may feel like we are human, but even that sense is implanted. Our very consciousness is artificial. Is it so hard to imagine that when Kether falls to the complex, you will continue to think that way, even as you continue to be controlled? Dex, there are no choices in the future they are creating. Now the clones you saw on your way here are not even conscious, not alive yet. They are still being manufactured. You would not be killing, you would be resisting. This is what needs to be done. You must access the mainframe, and from there, disable the clone's life support system. This will trigger an emergency state across the whole facility, unlocking the submarine pods and giving you your escape. It is right. You, I, and a handful of others will be all that remains of their research. My life support functions are on an entirely different network. I shall continue. Let me make your choice more simple. The submarine pods are your sole means of escape. Now, in order to reach the mainframe, you'll have to hack into the Overseer's computer, a man called Hammond. I believe you've met him. You must make sure he does not escape. If we bring him to justice, bring him and his work before the eyes of the world, make him confess, show everyone what he has been doing here, the complex will lose their grip on the world. Their mask of lies will at last fall. Hammond, he is the key to ending this sickness. Now, go back to the main elevator. I'll enable access to the upper floors. Good luck, Dex.
you. You're one of the clones. Hang on, you're not the one who blew up GSV-2, are you? Hmm. Haven't you been busy? Now, it might not seem like it with me here, working their labs. But trust me, we're on the same side. Um, uh, an introduction is in order. My name's Ian. You know Ellie? Oh, of course you do. Your escapades at Redwood Watts. Is she all right? My jailers didn't grant my last request for footage. They said the video from her lab was corrupt. But when I heard of your intervention there, I feared the worst. I'm glad. Oh, trust me. For a long time, I wish they had. They wanted to silence me, but they needed my work. Instead of killing me, like so many others, they staged my death. Made it that nobody would come looking for me. I was one of the original researchers on the Kether program. That meant I have in-depth knowledge of its programming, its logic patterns, its inner workings. Naturally, now my job is to maintain the mainframe on which Kether is stored. That, and to supervise Kether's infusion into the clones created here. It did. This is where a backup version was stored, on a separate, isolated network. While contained, it's harmless. Someone must make sure that the program doesn't extend its reach, malfunction, erase itself. Do you have any idea what could happen if Kether became completely free? Exactly. No one does. That program has the power to turn the world on its head at a whim. One of many. But just a junior on the team. I had the good fortune to work with some of the greatest minds in the... Never mind. You must have... My superiors feed me only with information they want me to know. For that, sometimes I'm glad. Some slip through their fingers. Like you. Oh, that's good. Thank you. The clones. Please, I want you to let them be. But when they came for you, I guess they came for you. They planned that raid years ago. Since your release, they would have kept tabs on you. Just enough to know where to find you when... All clones can live perfectly normal lives. They are oblivious to where they came from. Or to what fate awaits them. I want them to escape that fate. J Listen to my alternative. I have been working on a program, a modification to the mainframe. It could rewrite all the data compiled about the clones, replace everything with fabricated data. Background, current location, planned harvest date, all... What you need to do is this. Go to the mainframe, hack into it, and run my program in one of the core data nodes. The comp I'll upload the program to you. If you manage to hack into the mainframe, install it there. Please. This is the right choice. I hope with every atom of my being that you make it.
My, my. Such tenacity. And what did we do to bring that out of you, I wonder? You really are surpassing every one of my expectations, I have to say. I do believe you might well be the one I am to recommend. There is much more you need to know, of course. It's natural you should be running riot with emotions just now. How can your rationale function properly without logical... Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, but listen. What you are witnessing here is something quite different to what you think you're witnessing. You hate me, but this is not about me. It is not about any of us here, not even the complex. This is about you and those you have spent years besides. It's about the living people the world over, all of us. Humanity is wrestling with the dawn of a new era, with cyberspace, communications, implants, like newborns struggling to stand. And for the first time in the history of time, nature will not help us walk. We face a perfect problem. No, humanity no longer needs what nature can offer, what evolution can provide. We don't need an extra centimeter here, a plus three IQ advance there, and certainly not at the pace natural selection can offer it. Humanity now requires much, much more. Knowledge, pleasure, power, uh, immunity, longevity, dreams made real. Nature has brought humankind to this door, but it is now up to us, the technologists of the world, to open it, to lead our race forward to the next age, to take evolution into our own hands. Not one scientist, not I, not any here, cares a jot for him or herself for our lives. Kill me? I have nothing. And nothing will change. Kill all the scientists here, new ones will step into our place. We are not special. There is a woman, our leader, our unifier, the visionary behind all this. You will know her as the Crow. She has been spearheading this project for decades, first with the creation of Keva, knowledge, and then enhancing humanity's capacity to use that knowledge, the post-human, you. You are the first, the first to possess everything. Everything we were told to strive for, that she instructed me to look for. Methods? Uh, yes, yes. Now you have shown your humanity, we must begin to treat you as human. Nay, post-human. Ethics. Rights. Uh, indeed she is, but no ordinary person, as I hope you shall see for yourself. I... I can arrange for you to meet her. And that I can. The Crow charged me personally to seek out the one that is ready. The one that possesses independence, resilience, personality. It's not what I want. I will arrange for you to meet the crow. She has plans. Great plans. For the one who proves herself. You. If you accept, I will arrange for you to be released back to Harbour Prime. From there, you'll receive instructions as to how to meet her. I must, however, ask you for one thing in return. As a show of good faith. Tell me who Raycast is. that your value systems are a little too deterministic. Loyalty as blinkered as this leaves you open to manipulation. Do you not see? Raycast has no loyalty to you. You're just one of many he has made to feel special. The many he has led on his leash to war with us. Think how little he really told you about anything. How little effort he put in to protecting your friends, protecting you. Your loyalty is misplaced. You fool! What will this accomplish? Nothing! You're changing nothing! No! No, please!
Thank you. You don't know how important that was for me. To give them life. Please keep fighting the complex. Don't let them stop you. Keep fighting. <laughs> Just go? I can't. You don't understand. The videos. They showed me my family. Jessica has 
my new husband. He's a good man. James and Lisa. They have a new father. I watched them on the video. Go. I saw what you did. You disappointed me, Dex. Now the Complex have their specimens. Now they just need to find them. Some, at least, will thank you for your humanity. Many others will not. But I will help you escape. I shall unlock the submarine pods for you. Because I feared you would succumb to your humanity if I did not. Was I wrong? I've been waiting for years for someone like you to help me, Dex. To help me put an end to all of this. You judge me for wishing to safeguard your success? I apologize. I had no choice. My physical self must remain here, for obvious reasons. But I'll be everywhere as I've always been. My anonymity is my freedom, and for now at least, I am still Subject Zero. So long, Dex.
something out of nothing. Something's raining down. If it is it the ship blower. Good day to you, lassie. Hold it right there. This is an armor gear restricted. Stand down. Apologies, miss. We've been expecting you. You can rest at ease. First Lieutenant Buckner at your service. I understand your confusion, but I have specific orders to ensure your protection and safe transit to my client's residence. I'm told to extend you a cordial invitation. Tell me when you're ready to depart, miss. The fat nerd. He's safe, miss. I've instructed my men to handle any of your associates gently. Yes, miss. Details will be provided once you agree to depart. I'm not privy to the information myself, miss. Security protocol. I was briefed to anticipate your concerns, miss. And to tell you, this is different. You've demonstrated considerable worth to my client, and she'd like to honor you with a private audience. My orders are to invite you and to escort you, not to force you. Take your time, miss. I was made to understand you might still have friends to check up on, errands to run. Feel free. When you're ready, you know where to find us. Roger that, miss. You heard the lady. Collapsing perimeter, double time, shuttle up on orange. We're out of here like yesterday. First exorbital, miss. Relax. Enjoy the ride. We are exorbital. Heading 095 tangent, switching to manual approach. What to do's? Who to be's? Most timely. Madam is expecting you. Now, if you would be so kind as to proceed through the door. One final trial, you understand. I am an advisor, an assistant, a right hand to Madam. But my status is irrelevant. My charge now is to guide you to the trial chamber. Please bear in mind that even considering your recent feats, Madam must still determine whether you are suited to her requirements. I am afraid I am not at liberty to tell you more, but everything will be made clear once you enter the trial chamber. Madam prefers her identity to remain a secret, for reasons I am sure you understand. But rest assured, you may ask her what you will when you meet. I myself do not have the discretion to reveal any further information. Oh, but there is nothing secretive about this space station. What you see here is the first long-term space residence. It was established by Madam herself. While much of the residence delivers commercial functions, Madam retains this wing as her private mansion. What better place from which to oversee her empire? Luck will play no part in what is to come. Please, once you are ready, I would ask that you step through this door.
Richmond. Huh? Who's this?
this room. Upload the contents to the drive there. That'll open the direct port to the mainframe. You did it. Good. Now get back up here. Fuck! There's too many Raycasts! I can't! Just make sure Dex is safe! issues her final breath, and so it ends. Now, Dex, now is the time. At last you can put an end to this. You can unravel the... Slow down. After all we have been through to get here, 
Now is the time for action, Dex. The complex have never been more vulnerable. Now you have access to GSV, to Kether. You must get into cyberspace. Humanity is not ready for this leap. Not technologically, not socially, not psychologically. Many more will surely suffer if you choose the path she has set out for you. There are far too many unknowns. I will have no power to help you once you step into cyberspace. Kether's domains are impenetrable. I cannot accompany you. I can only hope you see reason, Dex. Trust me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Retrieved records show the laboratory, headed by Dr. Carl Hammond, has created several hundred artificial beings, ABs, many of which were militarized. Nine executives linked with the international association known as the Complex have been arrested. They now face federal charges of illegal human experimentation and terroristic intent. Reports suggest that dozens of the ABs have been released into society. Their whereabouts and identity are unknown.